All right, so I'm spending some time with Keith today. Keith, what are we working on? We are working on our 60 model slab side slash fridge with the old Coyote and the automatic in it. We've, uh, have we done an update on the bed? Do a little bit, let's do one real yeah, quick. Yeah, let's do okay. real quick where we were at. Clips I can throw in, but, um, but I haven't. So we built a new front bed panel inner bed sides to fill in for the uh, uh, aftermarket tubs. Um, my little filler panel back here and we're at a stopping point on the on the bed waiting on the wood which should be here any time now uh, and then we'll start laying that out. Uh, it'll get one more cross member somewhere probably in the middle ish maybe two uh, just to kind of depending on where the uh, Zach wants to, uh, where we're going to bolt all the wood and stuff together, but she's a go for now. We've already mocked up uh, one wheel or one tire in the back. She's going to be low. Um, Which leads us to the issue that we're working on today. So uh, step one was we set the, uh, double check the uh, camber angles to get them close because they were it was about a degree degree and a half positive we set them a degree negative um, to get it just roughly close because it does change the positioning of the how the tire lays in mocked the uh, it's a 255 40 19 um, up on the cc tech tool so we could kind of simulate our back spacing uh, for the wheel um, and then start figuring out turning radius as far as like what's going to hit what's not on the original fender well um, it hit everything it hit the top the sides <coughs> let's uh so let's um, just so, show them what it looks like up here so after you remove this, your paper template this is our little template of kind of what we're going to do um and we've already uh kind of made a uh shrunk another piece of metal to get the arts and stuff that we're aiming for and then we made a template ta-da that fits the contour of the frame up over the control arms uh, clearance to where you can get a wrench in to get the control arm bolts and stuff out and then along the firewall and then down follows the back of the frame down to a uh, close everything off kind of like the original would be yeah, uh, as you guys can see this uh, so inner fender here is the way that it's like kind of crumpled in. Full compressed, we put the, a uh, coal over out so we can send the tire all the way up, go full lock to lock. And the tire starts to hit a little below the flat part, of, flat part of the fender. And then pretty much anything and everything in here and then way back here. So um, we started cutting out all the materials Till we got it to where it cleared because originally we wanted to use as much of the original fender well as possible if it would work just for simplicity and it's not a i mean it's a lot of custom stuff on the truck but we're still trying to keep it where it looks original because it is a patina truck and open the hood and it looks like i don't know it should fit I guess the whole theme of the truck next will be to lay the panel out i've started that <clears throat> over here cut it to full length or width that we need height and then kind of laid out uh laid the template on and just kind of sprayed around it to where we can actually start laying all the scrub lines out and uh, we'll get into that in just a little bit uh, then after that uh three quarter inch lip here break it over to a 90 and then spend a little time on the shrinker stretcher to get the the arch this is the the plane so the fender will follow this contour right there so for this one's kind of backwards because this is i flanged it for the driver's side but anyways the contour is still the same it's just something that we could we kind of guessed use some uh template other radius templates stuck up in there with a poster board click code in place uh, to see exactly the shape we needed to get it up high enough 
and then it, where it's still in the starting point is at the edge, the very top edge of the fender or the original fender well, and then want it to stop right at the top edge of the uh, frame. So this this is it. So this line here is a reference line to where we're going to run a bead roll to uh, follow the same contour as what we used um, in the bedsides and on the firewall. And anyways, it starts, it lines up with the bead roll in the firewall and then lands down here, which is a bead roll in the radiator mount. So it kind of, and then it adds a lot of strength and rigidity to the panel. Sweet, well, let's get to it. Well, here we go. Got all the panels bent up. Still some work left. Um, we'll start trying to tack them in today so we can pull them out and start playing with some other areas. Uh, this has got to dip down a little bit here. Air cleaner go there. Opposite side will be an ECM mount and then the same little dip in back here. Uh, two reasons just for some clearance and not to hide the, the bead rolls and stuff that Austin did. So what do we have left on here? What's your, like, what's your next step? Uh, next step on the fender wells mm -hmm. will be to start spot welding them in and then uh, slit the two panels with the air saw so we can butt weld them together and metal finish them out. And I'm going to try to get from about here to here so that I don't have to worry about pulling it out and doing it on the table and it moving a whole lot. And then depending on whether we'll use <coughs> a stock air box or just a cold uh, cone shaped filter or whatever and make our own box where it can pull air kind of through the same area here. Um, just try to get it some fresh air that's not under the hood. But uh, there are some possibilities they're kicking around that this thing may go supercharged now. So we'll hold off on any sort of air intake stuff until we get a firm yes or no on that. After that, we'll do an ECM mount over there. Uh, it'll inlay into here, 
kind of a flat spot for the uh, engine control computer to mount. Uh, probably the Ford Racing relay box would go in the same place. Kind of try and keep the symmetrical weight, I guess, of the truck. Uh, not so much weight, but try and keep it all where it kind of flows and not one side of the truck looks heavy, you know, in a visual aspect. That's it on that. We'll see you next week.